Okay. Another one that I'm concerned about uh -oh. because what's in here is about that size. So we got someone who very likely conformed a box, made it to it. the item without giving it any wiggle room for if there was a problem. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they did right, and maybe it's too tight. There's a piece of cardboard in there, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. so no packing material at all, just a piece of cardboard. Freddy Krueger. Uh, is that Freddy Krueger? Yeah, it is. By Matchbox. Back when people were asking, why the hell would you make an action figure of this? This was done in 1989. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there is also a Frankenstein, a Dracula, and an alien in this set. Mm -hmm. But who is the... Oh, that's Freddy before he got burnt up? Yeah, you see, you put the mask on him. <laughs> <laughs> And then you change his clothes to the, to the ugly outfit. <laughs> I didn't know what Freddie looked like. <laughs> I don't know. Um, artist <laughs> but, rendition. Artist rendition, but you know, there's the there's a little portrait there. Queen, quick change artist and the master of special effects, Max FX now showing, and I guess this is somebody cosplaying as Freddie maybe, because okay. he's quick change artist. I mean, it might have gotten pinched a little bit. There's a couple of marks on here. I don't know if that was there or not. Like right through here. It still looks but pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good otherwise. Mm -hmm. They should have... Um, Did better. Yeah, they should have done better with that. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Thanks, U.S. Post Office. It's like dissolving in my hands. Absolutely saturated. But it rained. Yeah, it rained. But I mean, I want the old postman back. <laughs> <laughs> He used to eat this. Oh man, you just peeling that. Well, at least, oh good, it's in yeah, bubble wrap. We'll see. Hopefully, it didn't seep through that. Yeah, because it's a it's a graded book, mm -hmm. but usually they um they put the slab in a sleeve, mm -hmm. which they did. Oh good. Now what do we have here? New Mutants number one. Mm. Nine eight. Mm-hmm. But yeah, fortunately, <laughs> cause you see that. I mean that that made me nervous. <laughs> and these are I always warn people about these two. These are like the flimsiest, the post office, the free ones, mm -hmm. flimsiest boxes you can find. And it's like for me a last resort to to use a box like that for the obvious reasons. They just fall apart. But, yeah, New Mutants number one. Chris Claremont, famous for X-Men stories. Happy that it survived the ordeal. Another sopping wet box. Look, I can just peel it apart. Getting sick of that. Mm -hmm. you know, the old guy, uh, whatever happened to him. He retired. Yeah, I guess. He used to put it in a bag if it was raining, but the new person we don't get that courtesy from. <laughs> Shredding. These priority mailboxes are notoriously flimsy anyways. It's just coming apart. Mm -hmm. I and mean, I think the contents should be okay. Oh good, see? Yeah, it looks like it. I mean, they didn't do a bad job packing it, even though I, I do not recommend the use of the priority mail boxes because they're really flimsy. But, you know, that's something really cool, I think. You think. Da, 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 da. And so will you.
Come on, look at that. I think LPH will like this. Dollar sixty-seven at Kmart because <laughs> it says Key. <laughs> and there's a picture of some of the collection there of what's available. Look, three, four, five, six trucks. I got a bunch seven. of those trucks. Seven, because here's another one. Yeah, you got the garbage truck, don't you? I got the dump truck, the police car, the, the ice cream truck. Yeah. And I want to say I got the big bird. I think so. I got and I got the boats and all kinds of stuff. But they don't picture anything from this line on the back. <laughs> well, well, that's the Ernie with the horse, and I remember the horse actually. <laughs> and obviously, this is for you. Thank you. You that's are very sweet. welcome. Because even though I have a hard time finding out which figures from this set you actually have, because I asked you and you like Big Bird, and I'm like, which Big Bird? And you don't know. <laughs> well, I got the list. You could have reminded me. I read and I the list. It oh. says Big Bird on it. Oh. That's it. Oh. It's like, which Big Bird? What? That's okay. <laughs> yeah, and I got it packed up so you couldn't look at yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't look at it, but this is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought you would like that. Mm-hmm. I do. Very, very concerned about this one. Mm-hmm. Just look at this. This is just demolished. I did that. <laughs> I don't know what to say. If it's a combination of like the packaging and the and the shipping. Cause that's a used box. Yeah, it's a used box. You can tell. And you know, we reuse boxes, but a, a reused box has a lifespan. Yeah. You can't reuse it ten times. You know, the original use, it goes to somebody, they reuse it, it goes to somebody, they reuse it. You can tell when it's starting to get, uh, when it's a little worn out and you're like, okay. <laughs> yeah, oh, this got this. one more shipment in it. Yeah. No, sometime you got to let it go oh, and get a God. new box. It's destroyed? Yes. Okay, let me get in hold there. On, hold on. Okay. Oh, no. Look at that. I remember you saying you got that for a really good price. Yeah, well, it was sealed. Oh. It's sealed. It's never been opened. It's just destroyed. Then what's that? Something else. Yeah, something else. Oh, they packed that pretty decent. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's in great shape. I mean, this is, yeah, if there's any damage, it's negligible. But... <laughs> oh, the GI Joe hurts my feelings because I like the GI Joe. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rebuild the collection too because I had so much and oh. that is heartbreaking right there. I cannot believe this. Mm. Wow. Oh. Wow. Guys, no I mean, words. I can't, I can't emphasize it enough about the importance. Of carefully packing things when you're gonna ship it and here we go again now you remember we had just done this one and I straightened it out a little bit but you can tell the box is, box is still damaged pretty good there's loose stuff in here now I contacted the seller and he said actually I have another one I'll send it to you so he's willing to work with me and try to fix it and I appreciate that you know I, I, I get upset for the obvious reasons, because usually, and often it's very hard to work with a seller after something's been damaged. But he sent another one, and this is it. This should be it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and hopefully <laughs> it's in better shape than that one. If I can figure the box out. It looks like a shoe box. It says box. Yeah, it says box on it. did send a replacement and he said yeah you know sorry about that because you remember the other figure came through fine that one was crushed and I was upset mm, so far so good we'll see what happens <laughs> okay we're looking we're like getting something. somewhere we're getting somewhere but that's pretty that's a lot better that's a lot better. And you can see it's even got the same stickers and price tag and everything. 
and that's how it should have looked and this is what happened and he was like yeah you know you i'll send you another one so i appreciate that i appreciate that he was willing to work with me this one's a lot better mm -hmm. and he was like you know you can send the other one back i'll even pay for the postage and everything which is getting rare mm -hmm. it's getting rare anymore that a seller is willing to work with you so that means a lot actually that he was willing to to own that and work with me and figure it out as I struggle to rebuild my G.I. Joe collection just like I'm trying to do with the Star Wars and a lot of other things. Some of you know the story. Mm -hmm. This is not mine. This is an envelope. Mm -hmm. and I'm willing to bet this is for you. Yeah, it is. Inside is another envelope, and inside that is another envelope, is it? infinitum, and it will go on and on forever until you get to the world's smallest envelope. I don't know. <laughs> oh. These are um, two mini comics. I bought two mini comics because um, if you've seen the last few videos, Master Maniac Mexico sent me um, some bootleg Masters of the Universe figures. That's right. And um, I talked to someone and they're making a card back. And I'm going to put these, uh, comics. these these comics in there. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm doing. And I didn't care what Just comics Just to make it, it feel a little more like yeah. authentic cards. Mm-hmm. And I told the person they had they had a bunch of comics, super cheap. I told them I just needed two. I didn't care. I'm working on a project, and okay. I just need two comics. And they sent me two, so I'm gonna put one in each, um, with the card once the card comes, and uh, then I'll have a, a a figure on a card so I can hang it up with the rest. All right. That's that's neat little project. Mm hmm. And when that comes, we'll we'll show you everything. Let you know who sent what and um, put it together so you can watch that process. Because yeah. there's been a couple of times where we said we had to repair something, and people have asked, "How did we do that? What did we do?" So we can go through that, and people can see. This is also for you. Yeah, and this is a comic book, as you can see, Bronze Swamp Age. Thing Volume Two. Yeah, because a viewer, and I cannot remember who it was. Um, they heard that I really like Swamp Thing, and they, they recommend the Alan Moore Swamp Thing, which is which, this. Which we have. Um, I went out and bought it on their recommendation, Jeez. but it started in the middle. So what I did is I looked up um, the, the first um, comics 1 through 19. And they either it this is um volume three, volume two, I have volume one coming. Um, and then I can start reading it. Cause I started reading this and I saw, hey, this is in the middle. Um a lot of stuff happened. So I went and I found the stuff before that, which is this. So I got volume two and three. Volume one I guess will show up on Monday. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Um so I'm excited about reading that. I read the first I guess book or whatever um, and it looks pretty good but it was, again it was just too much things going on and um, I wanted to start from the beginning okay all right and another one and that's got to be yours yeah and I guess this this will do it for my comic book your well Swamp Thing Swamp right? Thing comic I'm because assuming. I do have one more um, comic book it's a totally different series coming <laughs> you and the omnibus i know i'm all about You're that addicted. omnibus yeah well it is an easier way than trying to track down oh, yeah the magazines books. and then trying yeah. to put them in order and everything bronze age volume one yeah swamp, swamp thing. thing so now i got the three volumes that's before this Swamp Thing, the Alan Moore Swamp Thing, yeah. so now I can read it in order. Yep, and, um, and hopefully that's all you needed. Yeah, if, if not, then I'm going to just start from there, and that's just going to be it. 
<laughs> yeah, you say that now. <laughs> because these things get expensive. It does. They are, they omnibus do. are not cheap. They, yeah, but anybody, I, anybody who buys them knows. Yeah, but I do like that method. So mm -hmm. There you go. So the postman came back because they forgot something. Yeah, they forgot something. They were like, oh. Oh, yeah. I still have one. Yeah, this is yours. Like, I'm going to come back, man. At least they came back. Yeah, and yeah. not waited till Monday. Yeah, no. So like, man, screw those people. Yeah, they were That's already really late all day. Yeah. They probably get demerits taken away if they don't deliver all of the packages. Government job, I doubt it. <laughs> Item. One sixth scale. Oh, oh this is probably gosh. that um Batman. That Mondo is it? That Mondo Batman? Yeah, yeah it is. Be. It just said Batman. Do it I, um, real quick. Huh? Yeah. I got another great auction. Oh, God. I know, huh? <laughs> Maybe you should be bidding for me. Uh, and I always try to get you to bid for me because I'm always scared. I'm, I'm not going to. Um, yeah. yeah, he's fast. I'm slow. And I try to super underbid. I try to get it as close to what it already is. Huh. And I've been trying to get this Batman for the longest. And finally. I got it at cost on bids because no one else bid. And this, of course, is the Mondo yeah. 1 6 scale Batman, the animated series. Yeah, Batman. and if you've been watching for a while, you know I am a huge fan of Batman, the animated series. And they have two. They have the black and gray, and then they have the blue. And I think the blue was the first one, and the black and gray was the second. Yeah, and when it came out, I remember David showing it to me, and I was like, whatever, I didn't really care. Um, and then she thought about then it. Then I thought about it, <laughs> and it was too late, so I had to buy it off aftermarket. Yeah. And I really wanted one to go with my um, Batmobile, and the one six scale one, of course, would be too big, but I did get the Mafex um, 112th Batman animated to go with the, um, to go with the car. And I want to put together a diorama and got yeah. a lot of ideas in my head. Hopefully they all come to pass. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, and I think they currently have an animated Joker up, don't they? They do have an animated Joker. I don't know if I'm going to get all that because I don't want to go too far down that rabbit yeah. hole. Um, now they've done Catwoman twice. Yeah, they've Mr. done. Mr. Freeze once. The Mr. Freeze does look good. Yeah, it does. The Joker looks good, but again, that's a that's a long road. And with the um, the classic uh, toys, I think I'm only going to get the vehicles. I don't know if I'm going to get the actual action figures. Like the Toy Biz line, you mean? Mm-hmm. I think okay. I'm going to only get the vehicles. And I have two, well, two vehicles from or the... Um, mm-hmm. The Kenner yeah, yeah. line. See, I got two vehicles already, and I think I'm going to just leave it at that. With just vehicles, not actual action sure. figures. Because it's just a deep a deep road, a deep, long road. So. Uh, aren't they all? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's what we got. Yay! Yay. Go ahead. So this box came today. It should be four carded figures that's in this box. Small box. That's a little box, and maybe the cards are smaller than what I thought, but I'm thinking from the way it looked, it should be about Mego size, like maybe about this size card, oh, wow. or even this size card. That's what I thought. Now, if it's smaller cards, that's one thing, but um, maybe it's just smaller than I thought. And it kind of looks like it is. Oh. Okay, it is way smaller, smaller than, than I we thought. thought. Okay, and all right. What have you got there? Okay, so this is from We Win, and as you know, I collect We Win figures, and they make Bible character figures. Mm -hmm. And this is Galatian bears, and they're a knockoff kind of of uh, Care Bears. The, and as you the know, Kenner Care Bear action figure line. Yeah. And this one is Galatians, and it has the fruit of the spirit wrote on each bear. So you get a total of nine, nine bears. bears. This person had four of the bears. Um, I like it, even though it is smaller than what I thought. I thought it was going to be a bigger um, card Package, with yeah. a bigger bear, but that's fine. Um, but that's about you know that's about how big the Kenner. K 
Care Bear yeah. action figures are anyway. They're about three and three quarter yeah. inch action figures, actually. I and don't know if you have one out. I do not oh, have okay. one out. Up. But, um, no, I am pleased, but I, I just no, assumed... No, I mean you packed them up, I said. Yeah, I packed them up, yeah. so I don't have one out. Um, but I am pleased. I just assumed that the package was bigger, that's yeah. all. But, um, it looks good. The person packed it well. Um, and you can see some of them are unpunched. This one is a little yellow, but that's okay. Um, I'm pleased with it. It falls into my wheelhouse. I like, um, collecting... Uh, Bible character figures along with everything else that I collect. And these don't come up often. No. They really don't. Because there's only nine and I have, and uh, you know, I found these four and I have not seen any <laughs> since then. Yeah. So, so this is good, but that's what, that's what I have. Okay, good. So we got one more box to unpack. Yeah, this one uh, got Hold smashed on, up. And again, and I look terrible because, you know, it's he was painting. Labor Day and I've been doing home uh, renovation yep, projects. Yep, because that's what we do. Yeah. You get a day off, you fill it up with housework. Oh, God. But anyways, yeah, I took a beating. Again, I don't recommend uh, priority mail post office boxes because they're very flimsy. They're very flimsy. And, you know, they're flimsy because they're free. Post office gives them away. But they can get damaged very easily. If they get wet, they fall apart. But this is a stack of. Oh, those are the comic books you could have done. Uh, padded that up a little bit more, but I, you know, I, I suppose they'll be all right. Some silver age goodness in here. If I can get that open. How many books in there, roughly? Well, I think you know. Yet. Okay. Well, looks like quite a few. Let's look at a couple of them. If you can see it, there's a lot of glare. Well, you can that see one's, it. That one's kind of rough. Yeah. Some of these are rough. Some of these are in pretty decent shape. Mm -hmm. Journey into mysteries and tales of suspense. Classic Silver Age. Mm -hmm. So, what are your goal? Your plans? You're gonna. Um, press them out and get them graded? Or? Well, some of these wouldn't be worth grading mm -hmm. just because they're so worn out. But you're going to press them anyway? Yeah, I might press them just to and clean them up a little bit anyway. Okay. No first appearances? Uh, yeah, but I can't remember. There's, a, there's one or two in here. Mm. That might be worth something, the first appearances, huh? Yeah. Nick Fury. Usually Key, yeah, Strange Tales, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Doctor Strange. Oh, no, it's two of those. Oh, two of the One's same book? rougher than the other. Iron Man and Captain America. Tales of Suspense. Oh, that's Ooh, all choppy. Tape damage there. Yeah. yeah. You know, mostly fillers. Mm-hmm. But, you know, some good reading. Mm-hmm. If nothing else. To be reborn. Yep, to be reborn. And here we go again. Unboxing. Unboxing to see what goodies we have. And what surprises do we have in store. <laughs> Hopefully good ones. And not like smashed to bit surprises. Well, all of the boxes look good. Uh-huh. You know, we've had many, many packaging nightmares yeah. over the years. Over the years. Over the years. This one is a bit of an oddball. And they, they are Sears Construction Crew action figures. And then they got everybody covered. The Hispan the Hispanic guy, the white guy, and the black guy. Yeah. <laughs> a shovel, a pick, and a jackhammer, kind of. Oh my God. And this is from the seventies. And the way that you can tell is by where it was made. Hong Kong. With toys 
that's a dead ringer that it was probably done in the 70s. It's just too bad that somebody peeled the price tag off. I would have liked to have seen the original price on that. Uh, I'm a guessing, was there a vehicle? They're in front of a vehicle here, although that could just be your everyday Tonka truck. <laughs> I just thought that was really unusual and unique. And they have like the classic dollhouse bodies. Mm -hmm. You can kind of tell, you know, the old school dollhouse. Mm -hmm. This is just you know, nothing on the back because screw you, consumer. Yeah. But that's just a real oddball that I thought was interesting. So you got it because it's an oddball. Sure. It's just weird and wonderful and okay. not something that you see every day. Okay. Okay. And then this box is yours. Yeah. It's from Walmart. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Is it a surprise for your husband? It's soap. Oh, it's soap? Yeah. You know I like to buy my soap online. Oh, yeah? You didn't buy your soap from Walmart, though. I know that, so no, I, know, buy... I know that you're telling fibs. I buy Amazon soap. <laughs> and they pack it amazingly well. They do. They wrap, you, they wrap each bar, put it in put pillows. Wrap and pillows. And, and, <laughs> and paper. They, they send an action figure, and it looks like they crammed it in there. <laughs> they put the action figure in a bag. <laughs> and this is? The Ecto-1 to go with that uh, the oh. new set. Well, that's not them that not you looked that. at. Not that. It's on the other what side. What she just looked at were original Ghostbusters, not the remakes. But, yeah, yeah this goes with the action figures. Yeah, and it was a Walmart exclusive. are not pictured. No. <laughs> okay. Made to look like, you know, in the old the, yeah. Kenner style. They even put Kenner on there. Yeah. That's so. interesting. Yeah. So that set, um, it's kind of complete, I guess. I think you're just missing a monster. I am. I'm missing that eyeball. Okay. Yeah. I have the toilet. I just need the eyeball. You have a toilet. You need an eyeball. You mm -hmm. know how that sounds. I know, right? And this box was left on the porch in the rain, hmm. which is why we often use the P.O. box, but this one came, came to the house. And the old postman used to put stuff like that in a bag. Look at that. It's just soaking through. Hopefully, well. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. They put it at the bottom. Oh, I'm going to scream. Oh, no, they didn't do it. I thought I was going to scream, but everything's okay. I thought this was going to be folded when I saw that. <laughs> and, and this is another Knickerbocker product. And this was made in, like, the late 70s by Knickerbocker. And it was Snoopy and Belle. And that's when Snoopy and Belle were action figures by Knickerbocker. And they sold a bunch of outfits and things like that. You know, See, Woodstock. Yeah, they all came with a Woodstock. She's got a Woodstock, and he came packaged with a Woodstock also. There was a basic Bell, a basic Snoopy, and then tons of clothing and accessories. These are all a Bell's outfits, and they had like a dozen outfits for Snoopy also. Pay no attention to those dates. This is where a lot of times people who look at Peanuts products get confused because they say, oh, this was made in 1965. No, those are the copyrights. They, they often put the copyrights from United Feature Syndicate mm -hmm. as opposed to the manufacturing date on Peanuts products. But not easy to find in a decent box. Not a very highly sought after item either. Mm. And... I, you know, I remember the commercials for these. I always wanted these when I was a kid, the Snoopy and Bell, because I was a big Peanuts fan, big Snoopy fan. And they don't go for a whole hell of a lot. Nobody's really looking for them. People have kind of forgotten about Peanuts. He's been dwindling away since the death of Charles Schultz. But um, I got it to add to the collection. And I'm on So the, are the, the clothes sell, sold separately? Yeah, or you got to buy every doll to get the clothes? No. That's the outfit she comes with, mm -hmm. and then you buy all those outfits separate. They come, okay. on, a, they come on a card, on a card. Okay. and then there's a trunk you can buy to put the outfits in on little coat hangers. Oh, that's cool. Um, but, you know, I'm not interested in all the outfits. Mm -hmm. If I come across one, whatever, but I really just want the two figures. So do you have the Snoopy? I don't have the Snoopy from this set. I have other Knickerbocker Snoopies because they made different scale action figures. Okay. And this is like the 8. I think this one's the 8-inch one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are back. And you already know I'm upset because I got another one of these. And this is 
a sealed item. It's more than 45 years old. Mm. It lived all that time. It survived all that time. And you're going to stick it in a bubble mailer. <laughs> and it drives me nuts because I take it personally. I think it's very inconsiderate for, you know, to the customer to, to not take any care of packaging something. Now, hopefully it's all right. You know, we're going to find out here in a second if, if this is okay. But this is a terrible thing to do, in my opinion. And there's some peanuts in here. <laughs> there's pe packing peanuts in this. You're kidding. This is not, this, this is a fragile thing in there. Look at this. This is fragile. And you know I collect these. It's a vintage Weebles piece. It looks like it's all right, but, um, and there's like a little, I can spin those actually, because there's a little, uh, see, yeah, $2.19 somewhere, and it actually has some information on the back, which is rare. This isn't so bad. I don't think this crunch was here on this one corner. See, some damage now. Yeah. But... Um, I'm fortunate it's not worse. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful it's not worse than that, but it very likely could have been being packed like this. This is just not, you know, to me, this isn't done. That just frustrates me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know how I get. Anyway, got one for you. Mm hmm. That's mine. It's got a, of course, because nice, it came from FedEx. Nice dent in it. Yeah, thanks. But this FedEx. is from Super 7. They usually pack very well. And yeah. I'm expecting to see the figures in another box and then individually boxed. Um, this is Wave 3. Okay, that, that shouldn't be bad. Yeah. Because you this see what is, they um, did here. Mm -hmm. Wave 3 of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay. Um, so... Take those out and we'll take a look at them real quick. Mm -hmm. And this is the ultimate, of course. This is like their new thing now. Yeah, everything is ultimate. Reaction now. and ult. Ooh, that got still bungy. Do all that. Mm -hmm. well, we'll see here in a moment. Yeah, well, hopefully it's okay. Usually they put it in another box, yeah. but we'll see how bad they that is. Skimped a little bit yeah. here. I don't want to be too rough with that. There yeah. we go. I'll open that one first. See what it looks like. Yeah. And this is rock steady. I have wave one and two. I, I had them on right. display. Because mm -hmm. of the, the, the angle the, on the box? Yeah. All right. Um, I had them on display and I packed them up and put them away so yeah. that I could display something else. Doing my rotation. I talk to y'all all the oh, time yeah. about rotating your figures. If uh -oh. you have a lot, we got a camp. Yeah, she's hiding under the under the bench. There she goes. Um, we talk a lot about rotating your figures. If you have a lot and limited space, oh. rotate it, and that's what I do. I rotate. Yeah, because I mean, some people they don't have. We're we're lucky that we have a big bonus room mm -hmm. that we can work with. Some people they just have a little bit of space. Yeah, and that's don't. okay. That doesn't you mean can, you, you don't make, collect. You can make it work. And it and doesn't people, mean don't add to your collection. It just means you got to rotate. You got to yeah. think outside the box. Because people will pick on you. And yeah. Try to tell you what to do. Yeah. They always like to um, say things like they have a, a, a voice in your life. Uh-huh. And they like to put people down. That's the name of the game this day and age. Yeah. So oh, what can I say to put this person down and make them feel like crap? Mm -hmm. She's running around. Yeah. She's, she's allowed to come down here because yeah. she doesn't jump on nothing. Yeah. She, the other cat. The other cat likes to get up on top of stuff. So and he has break to, evil in pain. He has to stay out of here. But um, she doesn't jump on things. Michael Angelo. Michael Angelo. There's only one slice left, man. <laughs> There's only one slice left. There's a lot of accessories in there. Yeah. Look at the grappling hook. And then the hands in the back. It's kind of like Batman, how all of his stuff is shaped like bats. Yeah. The wild, wild and, and crazy, crazy turtle. turtle. <laughs> okay. We're getting there. This one's heavier. This has got to be another villain. 
assuming. And you went with Super 7 over NECA. Yeah, I have some NECAs because NECA had the two packs. Oh no, it um, is a hero. This one felt heavier. Um, <clears throat> I had, uh, I have some of the NECA two packs. I was getting that, but then it was so hard to get being at Target and everything. Yeah, and then the other ones are Walmart exclusives. Yeah. The movie ones. So I went with the... Um, oh, that's why it's heavier. It's Metalhead. Mm -hmm. I went with the Super 7 because it's easy to get. Um, they're always available. You can get them off Super 7. You can get them from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, it's just the convenience of being able to get it. And with the Ninja Turtles, I don't mind getting the new stuff. I don't have any vintage and I'm okay with that. Um, I like the newer ones. I uh -huh. like the style. I like the packing. So that's for me. That's fine. There's only a few vintage. Well, only one real vintage line I collect. Um, Masters, Masters of the, of the Universe. Universe. Primarily, you have some. You have some. Ghostbusters, I have some. Yeah, I got some Ghostbusters. Transformers. I have some uh, Swamp Thing. Oh yeah, the Swamp Thing. Yeah. You got Transformers. Uh huh. So, I got a couple of vintage yeah, yeah. stuff, but um. Ninja Turtle and uh, Thundercats. I'm getting the newer stuff, so um, that's that's what I I like and that's what I prefer. Yeah. And nothing wrong with that. Who, which one is that tastes. one? Oh, April. April <coughs> O'Neil. Mm -hmm. Bright yellow um, jumpsuit. Uh huh. She don't have the rain slicker. And then look at a compact. Yep communicator mm -hmm. okay right. and that's what we have the turtle Reporter ally and turtle ally interesting skin tone on her yeah, it's real pink yeah it's like a like then a it, fashion doll coloring yeah and then she got a bunch of hair colors because over here in the middle is red and on the sides is like brown, brown. all right mm-hmm so another box, another box that has taken another beating. That's mm. not too bad. Yeah. And what's in here is supposed to be in cases, but it feels pretty light. It feels light and it feels loose. So I wonder if they figured, oh, because it's in clamshells, it's okay not to put any packing material. And we're gonna find out here in a second. It's a protective case. Oh yeah. Protective case indeed. That's the bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, it's all busted. <laughs> yeah, it's all ripped to shreds. It's already been busted. And there you go. I mean, that's what you get. Yeah. And they tape these two together. I guess some effort was made. As I dig through this. Okay, so is this completing your little rock lord set? Or <laughs> Not by still? a long shot. Oh, There's okay. a lot of stuff. Oh, really? Rock lords, yeah. But, you know, it's almost Transformers. Mm. Almost. Yeah, they transform like, into rocks. Yeah, they transform into rocks. And there's Magmar. Powerful living rocks <laughs> living rocks. powerful powerful living rocks 